Crystal Harbins of GMPR Media. We are here today with Michelle Hamer, the founder of B23, who is revolutionizing beauty. So we're here to talk to her a little bit about um, how she started B23. So can you give us a little history of B23? Well, it did start, I always consider myself somewhat aware of our social and environmental climate. However, it wasn't until I started getting really bad migraines and I did a little bit of research and then I went from there realizing what was in our facial products and our body products and a lot of our household products. So this began the start of A, I wanted my own product to be able yeah. to use and couldn't find what I wanted in the marketplace. Yeah. And then also B, I had what I would call environmental rage. Yeah. So in creating a product, I was able to mm -hmm. make myself a platform in, um, and able to educate other people in regards to what was in their product. Lately I've been grappling with this, um, with this notion of conscious care. What does that mean to you? Well, I think a conscious care, conscious, it's becoming aware of, of what you're using on a daily basis and what is in our products. Um, I, I'm involved with the Environmental Working Group in regards to the Campaign for yeah. Safe Cosmetics, and that's asking companies to be more transparent about the ingredients that are in the products so that um, people can make educated choices. Yeah. That we know what an ingredient is, what it does in the product, and what impact it's going to have. Yeah. This allows people to have, to, to to consumers to have a choice and it is it becomes your own personal small revolution when we buy products that is a statement mm -hmm. um, that we're making in our community that mm -hmm. says I support this or I don't support this that's why on a daily basis we can make small choices yep. that do have a larger impact at a, at a different level in there like there's a whole um, of oil there well I ended up using shea, yeah. jojoba, olive yeah. oil, beeswax, apricot kernel, calendula, yeah. okay. I used it with nettle, essential wow. oil. Okay. There's in each one of those elements makes a part of that formulation um, to allow the skin mm -hmm. to absorb it more quickly. Yes and I mean you seem very confident about your brand and you just seem very confident in general which radiates through your brand. I mean how do you well, I think that surety of self that you're seeing is mm -hmm. probably a lot more of passion in regards to driving A, the message forward, yeah. and B, believing in my product. By this point in time, I've yeah. had incredible feedback, and so it is much, it, it, um, that confidence is, yeah. is time built, but it is very much a drive in terms of wanting to see change globally and wanting to see um, a bit of the beauty industry making an atonement in regards to the impact they have had environmentally yeah. and on the health and well-being of all of our people. When we talk a little bit about your business model, I recently read an article about you in Chatelaine Magazine where you were quoted as saying, sorry boys and girls, I know this may slow things down a bit, but we have to make sure everyone is at the boardroom table when making corporate choices. What does that mean? To me, that's very much about inclusion, yeah. um, but inclusion allows us to make healthier choices. Yeah. So there's no such thing as just the bottom line. Um, a bottom line, a healthy bottom line, that means um, a thriving human society mm -hmm. looks at health of self, mm -hmm. health of community, and health mm -hmm. of planet, yeah. as well as it has to turn a profit. We all need to eat. Yeah. Um, but that means when we're making decisions at the boardroom table, it's bringing that aspect of yeah. nurturing for your community back into the boardroom where mm -hmm. if we are going to be putting toxins in products, and there are known toxins, yeah. then we need to think about how does that affect those children and yeah. our populace in, in general because it creates a health crisis which creates yeah. um, a lot of in reality, deficit in terms of yeah. if you want to look at it economically. It's, yeah. it's not um, it's not beneficial in regards to your long term bottom line. Okay, so in terms of you know inspiration, which I think every creative person needs, um, is there someone in the beauty industry who has inspired you? Well, for me, what I think has been inspiring over the years is very much about small practical moments that women have taken charge, which has created legacy. Um, and a small moment outside of the beauty industry is where Rosa Parks simply refused to move. She refused to give up her seat. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the beauty industry, that's very much like um, the story of Coco Chanel. And I don't know in terms of mm -hmm. myth, lore, and entertainment how much of that story we see on the screen yeah. is um, true to life. But I love the part where, I mean, I'm a horse. 
Ladies, so when mm -hmm. I think about Coco dropping off her skirt and putting on joppers but, uh, within that moment so that she can catch yeah. up with the hunting party, I think that that's amazing. And she, in that one small moment, really made a platform mm -hmm. to revolutionize, revolutionize the way um, women were looked at within the fashion industry mm -hmm. in general. As to where that is now, I'm not so sure, <laughs> yeah. but I love... I love that story and I, I keep that story close to me whenever I'm having moments where I'm like, I can't go on. Yeah. I, I think about mm -hmm. her story and it does, it gives me strength and inspiration. And I mean, on that subject of, you know, balance and, you know, the woman's, uh, the woman's double day or actually the woman's triple day. I mean, every time I call you, you're either, you know, making product with your kids running out of a yoga class. I mean, how do you balance everything? Um, balance, I think, is an ongoing learning process. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I do, I do like, I would, I don't watch a lot of TV, but I did mm -hmm. catch the Kristen and Steve show. Yeah, okay. Um, the other weekend, Arlene Dickinson was on it, and she was mentioning, I think it's probably from her book, but yeah. it is very much about how um, we're, it's, it's accepting that we may not be putting the same uh, drive into every element at at, um, the t at the same time. Perhaps there is yeah. moments where we put yeah. more energy into another, and and there are times where we're like, I don't feel like I'm doing any of this very well. But then you you yeah. it goes back to my business model where honoring that moment and bringing yeah. it back to my personal boardroom table, which I made as my life mission yeah. statement, and that I I realize um, no in this moment I'm doing what the most that I yeah. can at these different times yeah, and it's yeah. consistently uh, grounding yourself and realizing that you are doing what you can in the yeah. moment and it's allowing, it's, um, you have to be good to yourself. Yeah, yeah. I mean we're super excited to join you today on the B23 Adventure. Can you tell us some of the places that we're going to be visiting today? Well I think it's going to be really fun because we're going to see in a very practical way um, that threefold kind of economic platform okay. in the community mm -hmm. where we're going to go to uh, the Apple Tree Farmers okay. Market okay. So down at Davisville and our, our markets are uh, it's the action of sustainable economics. I mean, um, it's your sticky money and it's your local neighbors yeah. and it's feeding our families that are closest yeah. to us. Um, also, incredibly high quality products. Yeah. And then we are also going to go down to Toronto's Vaseline Fashion di District where um, the detox market has picked up yeah. 23 and it's doing really well there. Okay. And that's also an exciting part of our, our uh, urban center. Um, so it's good to see that that's growing and changing. Welcome to the Detox Market at 367 King Street West. This is the home of B23 in the Fashion District in Toronto, Ontario. We are super excited to be a part and include it within all of these amazing brands that the Detox Market carries that are naturally amazing for you. So follow me and we'll go look at the product. So these are our products that we're carrying at the Detox Market, our Natural Solid Sense, which is an awesome perfume or cologne alternative, non-toxic, you can wear it at work or school, nobody complains, and it is your love potion in a tin. Um, and also our Hottie Bomb. This is one of our most popular products. Women say it makes their skin absolutely glow, and we have gotten so much feedback in regards to it helping with the reduction of many skin problems, including eczema. So should you be in the King Street West District, pop in and get your Hottie on. We're here with Laura Townsend, the sales and marketing manager for the Detox Market. So we're here to talk about B23 and how the B23 skincare line fits into the mantra of the Detox Market. Yep, for sure. And here at the Detox Market, we focus on three different areas when we look at the different vendors that we bring into the store. Uh, the first uh, thing that we look at, and obviously is the most important, is the performance of the mm -hmm. product. So we honestly go through so many different lines, all these samples coming in, and uh, the one thing I loved about Michelle's line was her overall performance. So we actually didn't have a beeswax based mm -hmm. line in the store, so when I saw the product, I tested it out, and I was just blown away by how well it actually worked. Mm -hmm. So um, we have lots of brands coming in from all over the world, and we really right now are trying to focus on local, so mm -hmm. Michelle's brand for sure fits. Uh, 
fit that area. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we loved also too, and it's very important to us, is the way that the product looks yeah. and yeah. the marketing of the product. Mm -hmm. So the Hottie Bomb is just the cutest. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So along with the performance, it actually mm -hmm. looks so cute. Um, and then I really do love the solid sense. Yeah. Uh, we focus on zero toxicity, and I just love mm -hmm. the fact that they're so portable. Um, you can apply them anywhere. You can carry them with you anywhere. So our customers are loving that. Um, and finally, the last thing also is the uh, the vendor themselves and, and what they do for the community and for the environment. And Michelle sources all of her ingredients either locally or throughout Canada. She's giving back to the community, yeah. she's giving back to the environment, and she's focusing on sustainability, which is so important for us and something that we really look at awesome. when it comes to bringing in new lines. Great, thanks Laura. You're welcome. Because we all want to stay hotties naturally.